hey guys welcome back to automation elearn i'm your friend suresh dubey and in this video i'm going to discuss few important conceptual questions related to git init and dot git folder so guys if you are using git for your version control system then there are two ways by which you can start working with git if it is an existing project and hosted somewhere on the remote server for example this is the git repo this is the project which is hosted on github.com so if it is existing project then you can use this url to clone the repository on your local using git clone command or if your project is new then on your local you can execute git init command to initialize the git repository which will start treating your project as a git repository so here i am on sample project if i'll execute git init here then sample project will be treated as a git repository so guys in both the cases either you clone or you initialize your git repository on local your project root folder will have one hidden folder called dot git so here also we can see inside sample project we have one folder which is hidden and name of the folder is dot git so either you clone the repository or you initialize the repository on your local in both the cases dot git folder will be created at the root of the project and this dot git folder stores all the history details about your project so this dot git is having all the tracking information related to your project so related to this situation which i have just explained i am going to talk about two very important questions one is can i execute git init command twice or more than twice and second question is what if i will delete dot git folder accidentally in this video we will try to understand these two scenarios which are very important to understand if you are working with git so let's talk about first question which is what happen if i accidentally run git init more than once or more than twice so let's take a sample repository so here we have sample project and here we can see we already have dot git folder available it means sample project is treated as a git repository it means we have already executed git init to initialize this project only after executing git init we get dot git folder and here we have to see what will happen if i'll re execute git init one more time so let's give a try so here i am executing git init and here we have a message like re initializing existing git repository and this is the path of git repository so see let's try to decode this first re initializing it means sample project is already initialized so this is the reinitialization which is happening now and second existing git repository this also means this repository sample project is already initialized and which is already being treated as a git repo so that's why it's saying existing git repository and here we have a path till dot git folder and looking at the project so here we had m1.txt we still have m1.txt and we also have dot git folder available and here i can try executing few other commands for example git branch and here we have all the branch details as well so it seems re executing git init command does not harm the repository and it does not harm the the details that it has so this is completely safe git will simply tell you that it's re initializing the existing git repo but you will not lose any data this is completely safe command and it will not damage anything we can give a try one more time git init and we get the same message and we still have all the files that we had in the project so this is completely safe it means you can execute git init command as many times you want okay so that was the first question the second question is what happened if someone accidentally delete dot git folder so the question is what will happen if i'll delete this dot git so let's give a try so here i am going to delete dot git folder 
and now in my sample project we only have m1.txt and uh, let's try to execute some commands here for example i want to check what is the status of this project at this point of time so i'm executing git status and here we have a message not a git repository it means currently at this point of time sample project is not a git repository because it doesn't have dot git folder because we just deleted it let's give a try to execute some other command for example git branch so here also we have the same message like this is not a git repository because only if your project is considered as a git repository you can execute all these commands so here we need to be very careful so let's not do that let's not delete dot git folder from your project you will be in big trouble because this directory is a vault in which git stores all its information including your project history a bunch of other files that git needs for tracking purposes and some other configuration also that we can use to customize our experience with git this means if you delete this folder if you delete dot git folder from your project you will lose all your project history however all the other files in your project will remain unaffected so here we deleted dot git folder and uh, and on the console we can see this is no more treated as a git repository but our code files whatever files whatever folder that we have in our project that will be remain unaffected so what next we can do here if accidentally if i deleted dot git folder then what what i can do further from now so again as i mentioned in the beginning of this video if it is hosted somewhere on the remote server you can clone it again and again you will get all the project files along with along with dot git folder or if you are working on a local then again you can execute git init command to initialize your repository so this time i executed git init and here again i got dot git folder and a message like initialized empty git repository and this is the path and now if i'll execute git branch so now we don't have any information because because just now we initialized this repository all the other branches earlier we executed git branch so we had these five six branches available but we deleted dot git and we initialized it so the tracking will start from scratch at this point of time so at least i am not getting any message like this it's just not showing any branch because it doesn't have any branch at the moment i can give a try for git status also yeah so here we can see m1.txt is untracked file so deleting a dot git folder can create mess for you so we need to be very careful in this case so guys we discussed these two questions one we understood we can execute git init command as many times we want it is not going to affect anything and second one was deleting a dot git folder so it will damage all your tracking history for the project so let's not do that and be very careful if you are dealing with dot git folder i hope guys you understood these two questions and the concept behind this let me know in case of any questions or any doubts and guys if you like the video and the topic that i'm discussing on my channel please do subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends thank you for running this one thank you